So a recycler wants to have all the best content it can have. So if they're looking to recycle a particular polymer, they want to bale what is effectively primary material with no contamination. If there is contamination, you can think about that in terms of different plastics or different materials, such as uh, dirt, wood, liquid in bottles, and of course that's waste. So that waste will end up in landfill or be incinerated. So think about a PET bottle, for example. A PET bottle contains the main plastic, which is PET, and it has a top, which is actually made of polypropylene, and that then is a different plastic, so it needs to be separated away. But also you've got the label and you've got the gum on the label. So those things, plus what liquid is left in it, becomes waste, and that will eventually end up in landfill. But the polymer polypropylene top could go to another mixed waste stream. Another thing to consider when we're thinking about recycling, you can save a lot of plastic waste by redesigning the package. So if you think about going into a supermarket next time, have a look at meat packaging and how it might be different in different stores and look to see how it's changed. And that way you can reduce the amount of plastic and also it's tear off plastic from card. So redesigning packaging is another aspect of recycling more material.